Showing items 1 to 6 of 6. Showing items 1 to 2 of 2. Or 
or some of the many reasons that the Prophet Sallallahu was sending was said. And this is a prelude to the topic of the khutbah today. Knowing why the messenger as any other messenger was sent to his people. And that is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned huwa alladhi arsala rasulahu bil huda wa din al haq. It is Allah that is sent. It is Allah who has sent the messenger. So therefore the message cannot be rejected as they say don't shoot the messenger. Because he's only a messenger. And Allah clarifies that by saying he is the one who has sent his messenger. What did he send his messenger with? Did he send the messenger with culture and customs of his people? Did he send the messenger with free will to follow whatever he likes as he's fit? Or did he send the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, bin huda wa din al haq Then, bin huda is direction. Huda, knowing how. Huda, being out of commotion. Huda, being on something that is right. Huda, something that will help you in your life in this world and the hereafter, as we believe in the afterlife as well. Do you know how? The natural way that Allah has made the human beings that they would understand, they would incline, they would be more partial than not to whatever Allah reveals concerning them. And this is the meaning of Yani Huda guidance. Wadin al Ha, the way that is truthful because it agrees with the way that Allah has created you anyway. So this is one of the reasons the job that the messenger was sent. As after each nation and each of those nations had warnings, prophets and messengers, after a period of time, people, they, as they say, fell off. They went astray. They went back to old ways. They went to leaving that which Allah intends for them. So this being the case, one of the jobs of the must of the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is to guide the people, to show them the direction, and this includes that which is a, as the scholars they mentioned, wasila ila khair, something that leads to good. Then the prophet is responsible for, for showing you that. He is responsible for leading you to the links and things that link up to the good. And likewise the opposite. That which is a danger. That which holds some type of Bring your silence. disadvantage for you. Then he is responsible to steer you away from that. To warn you against that. Therefore we want to talk about three things. From the book of Allah. The Quran. That Allah said about the believers. آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كل من آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسوله الله سبحانه وتعالى مثل سورة البقرة that the messenger and this shows he's not just telling you something but he doesn't do it himself no he's telling you he's ordering you because Allah has even ordered him and then he's doing it Allah said that the messenger he believes in that which Allah has sent him, that which has come to him, meaning the Quran. And then Allah showed the way of the believers, what they said, and that is the companions, those that were with the Messenger Sallam, they said, we believe also in Allah. <clears throat> we believe in Allah. That means in every aspect of Allah. Everything that has come to you about him that's verified from any of his scriptures, then we accept it. His angels, those who we know about by name and description, and those who have not been mentioned that we don't know about, but we believe they exist, as there are many countless angels. The books 
Allah has said, those that they have tainted and changed and played with, we believe that that took place and that they were sent purely from Allah and then manipulated and changed them. And we also believe in that which is the messengership. That being the case, that being the way of the believers, then we want to talk about in light of that book, in light of what Allah has said, the issue of al-hijab, that which is considered hijab, based upon the book of Allah, the sunnah of his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we want to talk about the issue of muzika, music. Music. As this is a time of music and celebration, especially in the Western states, in the Western places. And al ikhtilaqa Yani, free mixing between the sexes. We have to talk about those three issues in this khutbah. And I should mention that, Barakul Rufiqo, I ask the people from time to time advice, and some of the yani, requests is that I'm more specific in my khutbah, particularly from the board members. And Allah, we encourage the people to learn. Allah understand, as the khutbah should be general from the perspective of the sharia should be general, not specific. But you can mention some points and tafsilat, some details, but the khutbah should be general. And the khutbah is not the, ex- the extent of the religion. That, that's all you need. No, the Muslims have to learn, that he pick up proper information, read the book of Allah, not just in Ramadan. No. Have to listen to those who it's been made clear they call and they teach the correct Islam, the Sunnah, and not what sounds good to our desires. That they will distort the book. And inshallah ta'ala things will be easy to follow and, and, and to understand. This is an advice for you all and myself. The beneficial knowledge to the Prophet used to ask Allah, Allahumma inni asaluka ilman nabi'ah. Oh Allah, indeed I ask you for knowledge that I can use. Knowledge that will be a benefit for me. Not just something you hear you don't understand. Not just something you can say, oh, that made me feel good and that's the extent of it. No. But you, that you absorb it. That you understand it. And that you can depart with it and use it to benefit you in this life and the eye. That message is so sudden up. When you talk about the hijab, so it is mentioned in the hadith many times the issue of hijab. Sometimes it's called yani, Janabiya. So we're not talking about um, modern Arabic or what's back home. We're talking about what's in the Quran and the Sunnah. There's no disrespect the Arabs they know. They, they rely, they lost the language <laughs> from colonization being taken over the enemies of the religion traveling being in lands that are yani, foreign to the Arabic language and not yani, passing it down to the children that which is yani, fasih, yani, fi lisanihim, min, yani, akhtar, min that which is protected from changing the, 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 the meanings and the words then it has vanished Except the one that Allah has given mercy, it is his vantage. If you go to the old classical books of Arabic, Allah, the words that are used there, many of them don't know today. So we're talking about, when we say hijab, it's inclusive. And the word, yani, khidar, hijab, yani, janabiyya, all of the means what we will find in this brief talk, inshallah, tabarakuh wa ta'ala. Contrary to what we learn and what we see today. The first thing that the men of when they write about these issues, they bring the statement of Allah Tabaraku wa Ta'ala when they say to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Qul al Mu'minati, O Messenger of Allah, say to the believing women, say to the believing women. That's the first thing. And Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala is addressing the believing women. So no one can say this is only for the wives of the prophet. This is only for yani, that time. No. Allah said, Kullin Mu'minat. Say to the believing women. Nam, 
Say to them in the message of Allah. And the sign is mentioned whenever Allah says about something, O Muhammad, say, like, Qul hu Allah wahad. This is say, Allah is one, you have to first believe it in the heart as well as say it. You can't just say it. So it means the prophet believes in this verse as well as some of the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them to say to the believing women. Say to the believing women, Ya Buddha min abasari hinna, tell them to lower their gaze. Tell them to lower their gaze. <laughs> Tell them, Yari, not to stare at and look directly at men. We lie today, this is wrong. I got to it right away. This is extremism. This is what Allah has said. And we'll see the ill effects of turning away from this as we go on. After the Tabarak Quartal to the Prophet to say to the believing women to Yari, lower their gaze. And this doesn't mean look to the ground and never look up. But not to look really, directly or to stare or to gaze at really, somebody, in this case, the opposite sex. And then Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala said, Rahfadana farujahunna and to guard their private parts. So the scholars that mention these two are not mentioned together because the first one is Rasila, Eli, it is a step. It is a movement or something that begins the second thing, which is not going in the private parts. And we wonder why in the Muslim country, in the non-Muslim country, all over the world, if you go and look at the cases of fornication and adultery, from the adults to the to the teens to before adolescence, it's through the roof. I older than that. It's, 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 it's remarkably high. And we act as if this is not the case in our communities. We don't try to you know, fix these things. We just go on like it doesn't exist. So the lowering of the gaze. And Allah also mentioned you know, similarly for the man. The same thing. Lower his gaze. Not to look at the woman. Not to look at them like that. Because the eyes, as Kipsala mentioned, that Bani Adam, he has this share of the zina. And zina here means something that will attract him to do wrong. So the Prophet said, so the eyes, yani, the, 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 the looking is the zina to, uh, zina to the ayin. Looking is considered yani, zina to ayin. And it's not that you're going to make illegal intercourse, fornication and adultery with the eyes. But it means it leads to that. It starts by looking. So the Prophet mentioned, yani, and what you hear is that Zina, the fornication and adultery of the ears. Doesn't mean someone's going to use his ears and make fornication and adultery. No, but it means what you hear leads to that. The voice of the woman, seductive, sweet, sounding. But as I say, Yani, let have nun al original. Uh, it will take the the uh, the has a religion. It will take the mind of a person away. That's the strength of a woman. But when you talk about the liberal movements and, and, and the youth today and the Muslim women, they think this is yani, not being um, fair, not being just, and, and Allah must have. So here's the first point that the looking and guarding the private parts, looking away, Allah mentions them together. وَلَا يُبَدِينَ زِينَتُهُنَّ إِلَّا مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا وَلَا يُبَدِينَ Now, not to show. زِينَتُهُنَّ Allah is going to mention Zina twice in this, in this, in this world. This is the first one. And we loosely translate things, do not, yani, show, yani, except that, yeah, which, which is apparent. But when you look at this in Arabic, it's very profound the way Allah revealed this. وَلَا يُبَدِينَ زِينَتُهُنَّ إِلَّا مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا ظَهَرَ means something that you can't help but see. As Allah said, ظَهَرَ الْفَسَادَ فِي الْبَرِ وَالْبَحْرِ فِي الْبَرِ وَالْبَحْرِ So you can't help but to see, and the scholar said, facade here, 
means ten idols. Because facade sometimes means bank robberies, murders, rape, scandals. But here it also means, as we say, natural disasters, which really they're not natural. Allah makes them happen, and it's because of the sins of the people, Allah gives us this in the punishment. Forget what the scientists and Mother Nation, all of that stuff. We talk the real talk. Go back and look. This hasn't been like this in the history. The many tornadoes and hurricanes and, 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 and floods and earthquakes. This is from the multitudes of sin. So here, Pasad, Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala is talking about that which you see. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, What are you badina? Zina tuhunna illa ma bahara. That means you see it from the outside. You can't hide it. Then it comes in and says, Latu zala ta'ifa. Min umati awal haq dahi rain. Meaning you look and you see it, it's visible. So the first zina here in the verse means the outward zina. The outward zina. And that is, as the companions mentioned, Yani, this is the meaning of Yani Humur, Yani the covering, the meaning of the hijab, the meaning of Dalakum and Fikum, Jalabiya, all of them mean to cover the body of the lady. And somebody's going to say, well, we're not in Arabia, we're not in Afghanistan, we're not the Father, but this is mockery of the religion. This is mockery of the religion, and this is not our customs, by the way. Go back and read some of the books of the history of the Arabs. Like Masal Jahiliya, by Sheikh Muhammad the Wahhab. But don't say I'm Wahhabi. If you do, Alhamdulillah. Because Allah is Al Wahhab. Talking about the truth that people have brought and been persecuted. He's writing about his own people, what they used to do before Islam. And it's off the chain, as they say. And covering was not one of the things they did before Jahiliya. So whoever says the covering, the way that Allah mentioned in the Quran, and the Prophet and the Sunnah, and the companions described it, is our culture. First of all, this is kufr with the Quran. This is disbelieving in the Quran. As Abdullah ibn Abbas said, man, what the harafin min kitab Allah? Allah Musta'an. Poor Kafir. Whoever rejects consciously, purposely, one letter of the Quran, his disbelief. And all of the four Imams, they believe that even Imam Abu Hanifa, man, what the shayim in the Quran? Whoever re re rejects a thing, a single thing from the Quran. While we argue, we fight about any political gain and who's in control. We ignore the truth. We ignore the truth. Like those scholars to say, that he, whoever says that Aisha is a Zaniya, a Martin Babiya, a Udu Billah, she's the wife of the prophet. Allah commanded us to be uh, towards them like they are mothers, and they're like to us mothers. Whoever says that Aisha made illegal intercourse in the ifk of Aisha, the, the slab of Aisha, meaning that the scholars say based upon this issue of rejecting what Allah said in the Quran, you are a disbeliever. Allah clear part. And you say, I mean, subhanAllah, she's a, she's, she's a fornicator. So this issue, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, minha, this is from his book. We cannot say this is our culture. And the scholars that mentioned this is Zina Tuhuna. This is the first yani, al, 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 al Zina. The word in the Quran in this verse is mentioned twice Zina. The first time is talking about your over clothing, your garment. Now Abdullah ibn Abbas and all of the companions including Aisha and Umar Salama that said it means to drop from your head something that covers your whole body. And somebody's going to say, well, we can't see. Then we understand of what Nabi said and the ladies were allowed to. We already show that in one of the eyes. And we know if one eye is not enough, two eyes is an exception because the issue is you have to see when you walk. But what's the point of the whole hijab? Because men will you know I mean, uh, uh, bother you. And now they bother you because all of this hype about terrorism and ISIS and before
on Osama bin Laden and the 9 11 scandal, all of this nonsense. So, yeah, people may bother you who are sick. They hate the religion. They have a lot of evil, but they're very confused. But for the most part, the lady who covers properly, no man is going to ask her, What's your number? Unless they're in a society where they just do that. But in general, people want to respect you. People want to look at you different. And this is a protection. This is why I mentioned the likes of these verses. Then the Prophet ﷺ, he was commanded by Allah in the same verse. He said, وَلَا يُدْرِبَ نَا بِخُمُورِ هِنَّ عَلَى جِيُوبِ هِنَّ And tell them to, yani, khumuri, yani, is showing a, a, an extensive word. It's not talking about khimar. It said, بِخُمُورِ هِنَّ Emphasis. So it's not talking about a bunch of scars. It's talking about something that covers the whole body. Now why right, this is a, a big problem. Even you go to Muslim countries, the girl has something in her hair, the scarf, a uda the lot, lipstick, eyeshadow, tight shirt, tight jeans, what are the other than that? It it defeats the whole concept of covering. And this is not an old thing a new thing, by the way. This is not a a a, a, a new thing, this is old. As a couple of months ago I was in a little town here in North Carolina. I was dressed as such. And the man asked me, were you in the play down the street at the Presbyterian Church? And I smiled at him and I said, no. He said, oh, because they're having a play. And it was close to the end of October when they were doing Mary Had a Little Lamb. And they were dressed like this, subhanAllah. Go look at the old portraits betraying of the Bible stories and see what they used to wear. Even if they didn't have Levi's and Jordan's jeans and Calvin Klein and, and, and Tommy Hellfire, I mean Hellfigure. Because he might be heading there if they don't accept what the Lord told them to accept. Just like we may be if we don't accept it. Even though they didn't have that, they made sure that the body was covered. Skin, body contour, and everything. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَا يُبُدِّينَ زِينَةُ هُنَّ إِلَّا لِبُعُولِ تَهِنَّ Except to the husband. So now, his zina is second time. The scholar said, this is the, the, the second zina in the verse means the clothing that you normally wear. Because if it meant your jeans and your short shirt or your long shirt that you think is covering your buttocks, then the Lord would have never mentioned Zena twice in the verse. The first Zena is talking about Hidaya, Abaya, and or or Yani Darakun and Fiku, and the Mayu Sabdira, Yani and Uwa to Nisa, that which covers the women totally. That we play games with the religion. And we wonder why, why, why the children don't want to cover. The parents don't want to cover. The parents don't want to cover. How do you expect the girl to want to cover? The Allah Muscaan, in the name of communal affairs, we want to be all inclusive. We bring a number of them in front of the men and they talk languages out of them. And I don't care who's messaging, who's in charge. This is a law's deed. This is a law's oath. And we all have to be in compliance when it comes to this. And they need to be taught other. When I have children, those ages of some of those young ladies we're talking about, grandchildren, we sit patiently, we listen to all kind of mixed statements. Some of it okay, some of it not okay, some of it in the area of kufr, disbelief, forward to Islam. Then when it's your turn, you get up and you say, people have different beliefs. Yeah, this is the problem. We have one Quran, one Rabbuna Tadaruku Wa Ta'ala, one Lord, one messenger, and we have all these different beliefs because we're not taking the likes of these verses serious. And we want to pass it off as culture or a new time or we can't practice Islam that 1,400 years ago I was living now. You can wear whatever in America, a blue head, a pink nose, 
Uh, you could you could almost show show uh, 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 your dairy ears, they say, your buttocks. They said freedom, right? Home real. Allah Mustad. So where's our freedom to do what Allah said? And Tabarak was out at the end of this verse after he mentioned those people that she could and he show the other clothes to meaning that's underneath. That means she shouldn't be coming up showing that to the people not from her husband and brother and so forth. And for now mentioned this is an exception. To show the second zina in the verse to those who are from the family and the husband and the and the father in law and, 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 and the, her, her brothers and her nephews and, and on both sides are like this. Of course her sons are already inclusive. And I didn't have to mention that. Notice on top of in the Tabakwat Ali didn't mention what what and the brother in law because the son said and Hamud knows that the brother in law is like that. How many times the brother leaves his wife with his brother? Your blood brother. From your mother and father. And then a zina takes place. We've heard this. You know, she's pregnant by all of the sudden after 10 years and they've been struggling, trying, trying to make a baby. She's pregnant. And he thinks, oh, boy, well, like, do I have an answer? Then when she gets checked after the birth, you find it belongs to the God of Allah, all of Allah. And don't tell me about Rosalem when they prayed in the masjid, they didn't have a divider. That's another issue. The issue of divider came from trying to show how we can observe the separation as the clothing for the woman is supposed to be a separation between her and the man. So he doesn't see what makes him out of his mind, drives him to be sick and overpowered by her beauty. But the women that come with their toes painted, a'udhu billah, with their toes painted, when Umar Salam on the Salam he said, when Jawa thumba ho, kuyi la, kuyi, 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 what's this word? Kuyi la. No, that was the I can't get it out, tongue twist. Now, Allah will not look at them on the day of judgment. Allah will not look at them on the day of judgment. You say, wow, just for dragging the clothes? There's a point the Prophet was trying to make, and all of the eyes used to wear the clothes like that. But it was a sign of, 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 of arrogance. And some people said, well, I'm not dragging it out of arrogance. Huyala, <coughs> as Rasulullah mentioned, the Kibra of Bakr al Hafa bin Kanas. It is rejecting the truth and then looking at everybody else's shortcomings. Everybody else's mistake. It's significant when you complain, oh man, they're horrible, or they this, and you, and you have no wrong. The Prophet described this as arrogance. Dragging the throne. And the Rasulullah mentioned that the Shabbat had been coming for a minimum. Well, they imitate the people. So even though you're not doing it to be prideful like them, just to do it, it's wrong. Because this is the origin of this. This is the origin of dragging. And we have it too. We like to wear nice slacks as Americans with some nice shiny shoes that they can't be dragging. Because they say, well, this is our culture. These slacks, this is not an Izzah thong. No. It's all inclusive. So the Prophet said, not as far as men and Izzah. Not what? You feel the Umur in the Arabic language. You mean whatever. Now it's been on the ankle. And don't be like Yusuf Estes. I would have been not. And this, you want to be specific, right? How can that? Borrow from the Faco. Don't be like Yusuf Estes. Making fun. Talking about, oh, my clothes in the fire. Going in circles. Pulling the stuff and making mock of the Prophet. What the Prophet said was real, man. Like it or like it, hate it who hate it. You ain't going to gender if you don't think other than that. You've got to think what he said was real. And many of the things he said is still unfolding right now. We still won't believe. And then the Allah Tabarak who went to Ali said, Well, the ribbon now, 
وأرجلهن يؤذن ما يخفين ما يكفيهن من زينتهن and do not يعني strike your يعني heels and when you walk you know make the things on your ankle make noise so the people will يعني know the shoe and look talk about the the, the bangles and stuff on your ankle so the scholars they say look a lot went from talking about the main thing the face and we know the scholars they differ the face and the hands well that's a big issue but the evidence shows the face should be covered well that it shows it because the person that do it Jamal went on the face whenever you say that lady is fine oh she's beautiful people don't normally look at that the body structure the shape they look at the face first she could be in good shape but if the face is is, 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 is messed up it's like uh, she's, she's, uh, she's not that so I'm not talking about from head to toe and now he's talking about the toe talking about the foot the ankles and you think that the other parts are not any really, uh, uh, um, um, important now in Jiyu the scholars have mentioned in the last part of the school bar it's talking about the neck and the chest so now we're talking about the neck and the chest how many ladies have more than that out for some attraction if the neck and the chest is mentioned and the feet as in the hadith in the salama what we just mentioned from some sort of drives his garment like this a lot of them look at her she was worried because the sahabiyat they knew the feet were included in the garment so she said wait a minute how are we going to raise our garment to a message of Allah he said shibra he said just an inch or two she said that's still not enough he said dirai that is it out of that okay my father and don't go more than a hand span why because they understood the feet should be covered today the feet come it could be a real test for a man beautiful feet in the masjid the man comes in there's no divider the woman behind him I guarantee you he's going to be looking the whole time there's going to be a fight somebody's going to want to struggle him because it's his daughter if you have gaira or they like to say gaira I mean I say gaira if you have jealousy and protection for your wife and your daughter there's going to be a big issue in the masjid that shouldn't even be in the masjid in the first place that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in the nabi'ah we ask Allah to give us beneficial knowledge from Allah and 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 even in Saudi Arabia, and we know that some people, Allah Musta'an, when they get to America, they take it off. Rather in the, in the air, on the plane, we know these questions have been asked to their own scholars. Is this okay? And they said no. They go in the bathroom, all of the covering comes off. So it looks like something out of a magazine, or Udi Bin Nah. We know that. The reality is they know that they should be covered. That's why when they go home, they do it. They don't have no problem, no mashaqa, no problem. With their people, with the government, none of that. But even that being the case, you have books and essays written about this to remind the people because now doubt has entered the belief of the Muslim. Is it recommended to cover the face? Is it the obligation? Um, what is considered covering? What are the different ways? Oh, this is hijab. Oh, we don't need to do this. All of this doubt in the religion. All of this doubt. So when we talk about even the ladies that they call Ajuza. Now you are doing any kahal. Naam, as Allah mentioned. She does not have a need or a desire to be married. Allah Tadawak was Allah said when when Ya'fid when Ya'fid when Ya'fid Naam but it's still better for her to be shy enough to cover her face and hands and this is the face and the hands let's just say we say okay face and hands can be shown do they mean you put lipstick eyeshadow this that I'm looking at that like lights on a person where you blow the horn everybody's gonna uh, definitely not miss you like this for real all of this about and this is modesty now 
this is يعني ال 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 this is ال 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 الحياة ما نستيز نا يعني you got a long what's modest about a long shirt when you can see the contour of a lady's body if I'm saying to mention يعني كاس عن عيات they have clothes on but they still say they're naked that don't mean nothing right it don't mean nothing right Allah Musta'ad and it's a serious issue because it's widespread. وَحَكَى الْعَبَارَةُ مَنْ فِيكُمْ مِنْ بِحِبْسَنَ الْعَوْدَ بِالْنَيْدِيْسِ and the same Bukhari Muslim, the Quran and the Dari'in they said to the Messiah of Allah اِحْدَانَا اِحْدَانَا لَيْسَ لَهَا يَعْنِ جِلْبَى or لَيْسَ لَهَا جِلْبَى or كَمَا طَالَ they said there's one from amongst us or you know she might not have a jilba. Habsalim said, Tell this, tell this how Uqtuha min jalabi baha, or min jilba baha. He said, Give her your sister from your red clothing. And then Arabic, it almost looks like the prophet is saying, Let her get in the jilba with you. That's how it looks grammatically. Like two people get in the garment. To emphasize, give her something. And this is for the Eid, where the Prophet commanded them to go out. So what about the scholars say, now you go to, the, to, to a place you have no need really to go out. You just go out and not cover properly. You go to the aswat, the store, this, that. I don't know how to And what we're dealing with now in life, people, Iman is going to be tested. In Allah, in Allah, in Allah, in Allah, in Allah, in Allah, Allah is with the patient. He's with the one who observed the limits. He's with the one who's really trying to obey him. And good times and bad times. He's with those who try to go to the highest level of religion. We don't need that. But Allah must add. We don't need that. Likewise, that is Allah must add. When Aisha to Rabbi Allah Ta'ala Anha, her and that is Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, they said that the women came out and prayed that he salat the soup with the prophet. But they observed the women were covered properly. They said, had the messenger seen what we seen, he would have prevented those women. Listen to this. He would have prevented those women from coming to the masjid like the women of Bani Israel were prohibited. Why? Because you bring the commotion to the masjid. You bring a commotion. Somebody's going to argue that's not right. Where you get that from? That's not from the Quran and Sunnah. Somebody's going to feel, man, why are you saying something? You ain't on the board. Somebody's going to feel, oh, they just are you. They're pretty. They're innocent. Somebody's going to feel, man, this is a strength. Now you got all of this commotion and that shit. Well, now I, I can't see. And it made my stomach sick when I heard the descriptions. One well, have one of this, that, I had here. Shut up, I'm almost done. We, we're right, we're playing games with the religion. And that don't mean you can't be part of the community. You don't have something to, to offer because you can't do what you want to do. It don't mean that. But this is the religion of Allah. And if we keep shaving and tapering like a turkey on Thanksgiving, I know y'all relate to that. Or some cheese, some macaroni and cheese. Then we don't have nothing left. And we can't blame anyone for what I don't know in that nafsi. Don't blame anybody but ourselves. But now we must die. What happened to Barak and Mufikum? In conclusion, we want to lie and talk about my musiqa. It's going to take a whole series of khutbah. And we know like the whole issue, the duff. There's a big difference of opinion. Hassan Basri mentioned it's not connected to the religion. Yeah, I mean, oh, and, 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 and uh, uh, others from amongst them, yeah, I mean, and, uh, and, 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 and be said it's connected to the religion. It protects you from the salah and the remembrance of Allah, even the beating of the duff. But we ask the people who now, they make organs, pianos, guitars, drums, flutes, all of it okay because of the narration about the duff, which is really a tambourine with no little symbols. It's just the skin you hit. If they have the tap, the, the little jingles on it like we had in church, then when you beat it, it also, like jingling, jingling, it's like juice. Just the skin with the wood, this is what's understood as duff. And in life, many of the scholars say this came about in the time of Abu Hanifa, the duff, from the people, Yani, approaching. It's not us in the middle of Islam, this duff, to begin with. 
And the prophet gave them an exception for the world on the eve. So how we get out of that, we just got all kinds of music. A guy playing the piano. Ding, 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 ding. All right, man. Are you serious? Doing that with Allah's name, man. People playing the music. They want to call it whatever. Pop said they want to give it different names. He mentioned that. Different names. That's like Islamic music. I don't understand. I'm not saying 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 I'm not and we know we have the statement of Ibn Qayyim al Jawziya. He said, the Quran, al Quran, al Quran, Quran Allah. When the Mu'azib, Quran al Shaytan. That the Quran is the, yani, uh, the book of Allah, is the, the Quran of Allah, the recitation of Allah. And that music is the recitation of the Shaytan. But let's go back to those who did not take out of the Messiah's praise. They come higher. And today they put their shortcomings. Even Mu'awiyah and, 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 and all of that fitna, Yazid uh, 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 and all of them, Allah forgave them. And knew they was going to be having problems. But they from the best generation. Let's look at them. What they say. What the companions say. Allah, Ibn Mas'ud, Ibn Abbas, they said, and Mu'azib, Yani, it builds hypocrisy. The same thing. Same thing. In the Quran, Yani, builds Iman. So you want to listen to this like we were in and close it. That's how to fight with the people. They want to play this and that she stuff all down the road. 45 minutes, an hour, two hours. Tell them, Ya Shaykh, Allah Musta'an, Allah Ya Khalaq. It's my Quran. They say, Khalas, pay it. They say, put the Quran on, please. May Allah bless you. Put the Quran on. Soon as you get to your stop, before it even takes the money, because they take the money as you get out of the van, not get in the van. He's taking the CD or the tape out <laughs> and put the MS sheet back. Allah must not. It's a problem that we're dealing with. It's destroying the Islam that we have. Even Ali, we see the effects of it in our homes, in our children, in our, in, 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 in our communities. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase us in the knowledge, to increase us in the knowledge that we can comprehend and that we will accept, we will absorb this knowledge. This person used to ask Allah, give us beneficial knowledge. Oh Allah, we ask you to rid us from confusion and, and, and that which is down in our religion. Oh Allah, we ask you to purify us, show us the right way in the time of turmoil. Oh Allah, we ask you to make love to us your book and your messenger and his companions. And we ask you to bless us to be from amongst those who meet them in the hereafter. Alhamdulillah, the alameen. Akim al-Salaam. This was the khutbah from yesterday. May Allah, the mighty, the sublime, except from me and all of us. I mean, um, there's a few things I want to mention about the khutbah. First of all, um, I read one of the ayat incorrect. In Tabarakul wa Ta'ala, we was talking about the, the lady who there's an exception for her. That she does not have to um, cover the face. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said in his noble book. وَالْخُوَاعِدُ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ أَلَّاتِ لَا يَعُجُونَ نِكَاحًا And for those 
um, ladies that do not have a desire for a man, do not have the desire to have a marital relationship, they are too old to have that as a need or a desire, then Allah said there is a principle for them. Allah Ta'ala said, La yawjuna nikaha. Those women that don't desire, they have reached the age in their life where they um, don't have a care, nor a concern, nor a need for marriage. Allah said, Falaysa Ali, Falaysa Ali, Falaysa Ali Hinna, and Yadatna Thiabahunna. Falaysa, Fala Junaha Ali Hinna. Falaysa Ali, Falaysa Ali him, Falaysa Ali him. Al Tabak with Al said, um, Falaysa, Falaysa Ali, Falaysa Ali him, um, Al Tabak with Al he said, um, Fala Junaha Ali Hinna and Yadatna Thiaba Hunna, and there is no sin on them if they Yadatna um, Thiaba Hunna. Here the, the scholars they mention, um, and Sheikh Uthaymin also was one of them, he said, This statement that means um, there's no sin on them, and literally it means if they uh, leave off the clothing. This does not mean. That there is no sin on them if they take all of their clothes off to nudity. Here the Ab is talking about the outer garment, which firstly means that something is going to cover the head and the face, the neck, the chest, and the rest of the body down to the feet. So therefore Allah is saying there is no sin on them if they do not put on the clothing meaning if they show their face and according to some scholars uh, the face and the hands but here Allah is saying for that lady she does not yani, there's no sin on her if she exposes if she takes off yani, the clothing here means the outer garment and not the clothing underneath the garment that would make her um, nude and some scholars also mention this is an indication that the proper way of covering is that a person just doesn't put on an overgarment or something to cover the body and underneath it there's no clothing. As some people they do and we know sometime when it's hot people have a tendency to use that as a reason why but you should always have something underneath the, those clothing as Allah is mentioning um, for them. There is no sin on them if they leave their clothing, meaning the outer clothing, here particularly meaning the face. And also, I quoted wrong where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, um, the last part of the verse, um, 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 Al Tabarak wa Ta'ala on that the last part of the verse. Um here he mentioned um Ghaira Mutabari Jad Ghaira Mutajari Bad Ghaira Muta Barijat Bizina Tihinna and this means that and they're not going out displaying themselves with clothing so the face is an exception for the lady who's up in age, but still she puts on you know, some outer clothing where people can see, oh, she's dressed very fine. No, it's only talking about the face. The part where Allah says, you know, uh, If they you know, leave the clothing here, means the clothing covering of the face. And the other part of the verse shows that the rest of the clothing should still be that which conceals the body shape the contour of the lady and it should not be um, decorative as Allah Ta'ala said غَيْرَ مُتَبَرِّجَاتٍ بِزِينَةِهِنَّ now and then the other verse we talked about um, the exception for all of the ladies with regards to the 
outer clothing and I mean with regards to pardon me the 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 we say the outer clothing we mean the person is dressed and then they have a, a we say a overgarment for lack of better words so the exception where Allah mentioned the clothing that the lady wears she can show that to her family members and strangers she can't she should be covered with what technically we say overgarment including the head and the face being covered in the hands then the exception of tabarakul ta'ala mentioned um uh i would tab it i would tab it i would tab it um i would tab it i would tab it um uh irbatin min rijal i would tab it naam um i would tab it uh um Arabatim min al rijal is uh our tabi uh ulul ulul irabatim min al rijal nam this means the man that um <clears throat> he is a, a a servant working for that lady but he himself he has um reached the age where he uh is not um barakalofikum he is not um um, concern, have a need, nor desire for women. This is the opposite of the old lady or the lady up in age in the other verse. This one, yani, uh, and this sometimes the Arabs they had any servants like a butler to do things. So if the lady has this one in the house, she can't be alone with him, but she is allowed to um show the face um uh around that person and 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 also the regular clothing that the rest of the family can see and and this and he also shows that the lady can't just dress any kind of way because it's mentioned not just the husband but the 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 father in law and uh uh her brother and uh um, sons of her brother and like this so there are some clothing you will wear for the husband exclusively that you wouldn't wear for uh, for example the step the father-in-law and 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 the father-in-law the father of the of the husband and your brother and your your nephew on your brother's side there's some clothing you will not wear for them only for the husband so it's talking about regular clothing that a person wears that's um, acceptable and suitable for those people in the verse. It includes the old man who's a butler who has no desire or need for women or um, has any um, um, concern about them in that regard. And then the last one, um, the last mistake I mentioned um, 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 about... Um, that lady who Allah mentioned the verse, if she has reached the age where she has no concern for marriage or for men, Allah said, And if that lady still, regardless of the Pass from Allah the exception because of her state in her age that she's not interested in men. Still, if she covers her face, Allah said uh, it's better for her. Naam, it's better for her if she uses this level of modesty and precaution because some older women even though they don't have a desire even though they're not looking even though they um don't have a need for the opposite sex they have a need for a man as a partner and companionship the man still may be attracted to her because some women that have reached that age they'll still they, they are still attractive Although they're up in age, you know, they can be a, a trial for a man. So that's why Tabakwa Ta'ala said, And if she seeks to have this level of protection and, 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 and modesty and shyness to still cover her face, although she's not um, interested in the man, then Allah said it's better for her. And these are from some of the 
points that I want to mention around the khutbah that you just heard. Again, um, there were some mistake, some mistakes in um, quotation, so we corrected that one. Yes, tahfifna khair laha in the verse, and um, also barakallahu fikum. Um, some of the meanings behind that. And if she seeks the love of modesty or shyness to still cover her face, although she is a exception due to her status, her age, and her state, and then it is still better for her. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wallahu Samir Alim. And Allah is the one, He hears everything and He knows. He's watching you. So, this we want to mention as it relates to um, that issue. Also, the other statement it was a mispronunciation of the hadith where Prophet Sallam he said that Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala will not look at the person who drags his thobe, yani, um, <coughs> whoever drags his thobe out of pride, then Allah will not look at him on the day of judgment. The Prophet in this hadith, we, we, we uh, made some mistake. Prophet he said, Man jarra thobahu. Man jarra thobahu. Man jarra thobahu. Whoever drags his, his thobe. Yani, min al Khuyalai out of yani pride, arrogant arrogancy. La yandar Allah La Yandar Allah La Yandar Allah Ilehi Yomul Qiyama La Yandar Allah Yani Ilehi Yomul Qiyama then Allah will not look at him on the day of judgment. And so this, yeah, and if of Salam he mentioned in the hadith. Now when that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Huda or Tuga wa Rifaf. Now I'm asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for piety, for that which is yeah, any restraint, that which is being um modest and not wanting to be seen um, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance among the Sulukul Huda, for guidance, or what to go, what to go, what We ask Allah for all of them as the Prophet did in that hadith. Wa sallallahu wa sallam 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 wa Multi page view, why don't you add some songs? No songs selected. Fader, no songs selected. Swipe with two fingers to switch pages. Multi-page view, why don't you add some song? Seek, multi-page view, why don't you add? Seek control, 100, add new song button. Button, unlabeled. Dub, multi-page, disabled. Disabled. 6309. Device options. Showing items 1 to f- 